So my personal experience with sleep deprivation is when my daughter was about six months old, I was losing my mind in every sense of the word. I, I just could hardly function. My daughter never slept for more than 20 minutes. It was just, just the classic nightmare of having a child that did not sleep. So after much judgment of my friends who were using different methods to get their children to sleep, which I thought were awful because I was going to be the attachment sling wearing parent, she lived her life in the sling, um, I didn't want to let her cry for one second. And I finally got to the point where I thought my sanity was at stake and so my husband supported me. We had a little plan and so we put her in the crib for the first time. And as she started to cry, I sat outside her door and cried and I made up all kinds of stories. Maybe she's hungry, maybe her tooth hurts, maybe she's got her foot stuck in the slats. I went on and on and it went on for about 15 minutes. I went and checked on her, of course, and she fell, she fell asleep after 15 minutes. And then I cried and cried and cried and said, what in the world, why didn't I do this sooner? My gosh, I've been suffering for this last six months thinking I'm being mother of the year because I'm not letting my baby cry and now she went to sleep. It was about three days of her taking 10 to 15 minutes to go to sleep and she's been a great sleeper ever since. And I really saw how you can get wrapped up in right and wrong and judgment and how it should be done and what it really caused me was to not be very present for my child. I was pretty exhausted all the time and I was certainly very grouchy to my husband. You can attest to that. So. Uh, I have been there, I know what it's like, and I know what it's like to have your child cry and feel like that's the worst thing in the world, when in reality, they're crying for this infinitesimal little point zero 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 two percent of their life experience in order to learn the skill, and that's what I love about it. They pick it up really quickly. And my second child didn't happen. I, would, I, didn't, I didn't lose my mind with my second. So I understand, I've been there, I have lived it. I am very compassionate about families not wanting their children to cry and that's why we tailor it to your family and what works for you.